But first, as close as a COVID relief stimulus package may seem, tonight there is still no deal, just one day before support runs out for many desperate Mid-Southerners. Thanks for joining us, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. While Democrats in Washington are pushing to meet a critical deadline, avoiding a temporary government shutdown over the weekend, Republicans, well, they want more time. And as the clock ticks, here's Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams with what's at stake for you. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell admitting Congress should not be here in the 11th hour, hammering out a COVID relief deal long overdue. After months of inaction, do we want to move swiftly and with unusual bipartisanship to close out our issues, seal the deal, and write texts that can quickly pass into law? But McConnell has only recently become involved in the talks, and Democrats in the House passed a COVID aid package six months ago that the Senate didn't act on. Lawmakers continue haggling over the final details of the nearly $900 billion compromise bill. While a government shutdown also looms, millions of Americans worry about losing their unemployment checks and becoming homeless at the end of the month. We're going to stay right here, right here, until we're finished. Time is running out. The deal House and Senate leaders are considering would add the COVID relief package to a massive must-pass government spending bill due by midnight Friday. McConnell saying it's highly likely the Senate will miss that deadline and convene a rare weekend session to finish both bills. None of the remaining hurdles cannot be overcome. Negotiations include an additional $300 in weekly federal unemployment benefits, $600 in direct stimulus payments to most Americans, eviction protections, and billions of dollars for small business. Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.